everybody. We'd like to get started. Thank you all for joining us on this gorgeous day in Queen Anne's County. Um, so there's a lot of people that we want to thank that helped us get this store to the uh, beautiful building that it is today um, to serve the citizens in this area. Uh, to start with, though, we want to talk about the people from Royal Farms who are all integral to getting these stores built and operating. Oh, thank you very much. Um, there's a lot of people in the corporate offices of Royal Farms that make this happen. We have, sorry, my, it's very windy. Um, Jeff Bainbridge, a director of real estate. Chris Polino, director of construction. Wade Graham, who's our operations zone leader. Frank Schilling, director of marketing and merchandising. There's somewhere around here. Uh, Dottie Mears, director of food services. Ed Stronsky, marketing manager. Um, and then we have Candace Ridenor, the district leader for this area. Um, the, and finally, we have John Kemp, the president of Royal Farms, and he would like to come up and say a few words. Thank you. I'll try to be as quick. Uh, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to remember everybody's name and thank all the people that made this store happen. Uh, I, I want to recognize, and we'll recognize a little later, all the government uh, partners we had in building this store. They were pro-business, and, and uh, we really enjoyed dealing with them. A um, little bit about Royal Farms. We're a Maryland company. We built the lead standards. This store was, was built to lead standards, but it's not lead certified because we it's not on a bus route. I don't imagine there's any buses out here. Um, but uh, Royal Farms believes in building sustainable stores, and our motto is real fresh, real fast, and real green. So uh, when you walk around this store, um, it is built to lead standards, and it uses a whole lot less water, energy, and, uh, and the like. Uh, this is our new prototype that we're very excited about. It's the first one to open. We have a second one opening up in Hunt Valley, Maryland, uh, next week. It's upscale. We hope everybody enjoys the store. Uh, some things uh, that the store has, it has a very strong food service program. We have the world famous Royal Farms chicken and western fries. Uh, new items, we have a steam table inside with uh, 12 sides. Everything from mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and gravy to vegetables including green beans, uh, onion and ham and the like. Um, the deli uh, has gone upscale. Uh, we get the rolls from a bakery in Queens, New York. Um, upscale meats and uh, condiments. Uh, also new to the recon prototype is we have um, um, frappes, smoothies, and milkshakes. They're actually crew served. They're delicious. And as everybody can see, we have seating both inside and outside. So a lot of people driving down to the beach can take a break. And also, if you notice the bathroom, the our number one complaint in our entire company for the last 10 years has been came from this store with the bathrooms that were, were undersized and, and uh, at capacity at all times. So um, somebody told me at 8.30 this morning we already had a line with these new bathrooms and that includes 12 stalls versus two. Um, I'd just like to say, um, uh, well afterwards we have free, free food and drink and so we'd love everybody to uh, hang out and try some of the food. And I want a uh, special thanks to the band. If when you come inside, listen to that band. They're they're outstanding. I don't, Ed, did you get that band there? Or, Ed, you did a great job. So I thank everybody for coming, and I'll turn it over to, to turn it back over. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to mention the store employees um, that uh, actually are making it happen. You know, it's great that we have this brand new facility, but it wouldn't make a difference if we didn't have great employees. And I want to recognize the employees that are working today, including Kelly King, Antonio Collier. Kelsey Miller, uh, Danita Neal, William Purdy, Donna Jenkins, Angela DiStefano, Helen Suck, Brittany Washington, Sandra Whittington, and I'd like to thank the chicken with Jim Lyons. Good job, Jim. So thank you. Uh, oh, and Ed, where's Ed? That's, Ed, I'm, Ed's, doing, Ed's doing a great job. He's a store leader. A little bit overwhelmed, but uh, he's going to, you know, he, he can take some time off during the winter time. <laughs> thank you so much, John. Um, we have a lot of other people here today that we'd like to thank. Um, but first, uh, State Delegate Steve Arantz, I believe you're here and going to say a few words for us. It pays to have your last name start with an A, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess basically I'll, I'll be real short and real sweet. Congratulations to Royal Farms. Congratulations to Queen Anne's County. I think uh, anytime we can create jobs and provide this type of service. Uh, I was just here the other day for the groundbreaking of widening 404, another big step for us and for the county and for the district. 
on that note, again, congratulations to the employees and to all of you, and enjoy the chicken. It's great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, we also want to thank State Delegate Michael Smeagol Sr. also for being here with us today. We have a lot of people, thank you, sir, uh, from Queen Anne's County who um, were a big part of helping Roll Farms to get this project going and get it to completion. Um, to start, though, we'd like to thank Bob Simmons, County Commissioner, who, Bob, you want to pop up? Thank you for the opportunity, and I have with me Faith Rossing, our Economic Development Director, and in behalf of the county, I would like to uh, welcome uh, all of the people who are working here, all the ownership and the management, and let this continue as it has been to be a long-term long feature of Route 404 in Queen, Queen Anne's County. It's a very important part, and particularly jobs are nice, I'm interested in that, actually these folks here are probably going to have some difficulty finding as many people as they want because there is a shortage of, of certain kinds of jobs, uh, a cer certain kinds of people for jobs in Queen Anne's County. The, the lovely thing about this that I like so much is that it has a wonderful design. It is thought about how things are going to grow in the future. It has involved energy efficiency uh, and, and so many good parts that are going to, to be part of our community for a long time. Uh, I congratulate Royal Farms and look forward to having you here many times. Uh, here's here, Faith Rossing uh, has brought a certificate. Do uh, you want to read that, Faith? We have a certificate of appreciation from the Queen Anne's County Board of Commissioners with the support of Queen Anne's County Economic Development and Tourism and the Queen Anne's County Economic Development Commission, and we offer Royal Farms congratulations and best wishes for the grand opening of its new store in Queen Anne's County. Uh, Queen Anne's County values and appreciates significant contributions that our businesses make to the local economy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you, Faith. Um, we also want to thank Jean Fabie. Oh, sorry. That's better. Uh, we also want to thank Jean Fabie from um, the Business and Economic Development Office for Queen Anne's County. Um, we also have some neighbors here that we are, uh, appreciate joining us today. Tim McCluskey from the town of Centerville. Thank you for being here, Tim. And then also we have some neighbors from Hillsboro, so we appreciate your support here. We have Hillsboro Mayor Ron Stafford, Com Commissioners Warren Thomas, William Cooper, and Melinda Stafford is also here as well. So thank you so much. Um, and now we have the Mayor of Queen Anne, Sir Randy Esty. If you could come up and say a few words for us, please. Thank you very much. I, I've been here, I guess, close to 30 years, and I remember uh, all the CB callers saying, I'll meet you, Chicken Man. Chicken Man. It just used to be Chicken Man. And then it went rogue, and then Royal Farms came in, and boy, have they done an outstanding job. And on behalf of Ron Stafford, the mayor of Hillsboro, and all the people in Queen Anne, welcome. We welcome you with open heart. Thank you very much, sir. And we also want to thank Commissioner Martin Eckelman and Mark Turner for being here with us today. So I know they've designed all the systems inside very well and that this will never happen, but in case we should uh, need the fire department company, we appreciate that you're here today. Uh, we have Queen Anne Fire Chief Chris Morgan, Fire Company President Danny McNeil, and Fire Company Treasurer Linda Chalupa. Thank you so much. So there's a lot of team members that work with Royal Farms to get these stores designed and built. Um, we want to thank some of them today. Builders Keith Brunst and Steve Schaefer from Hopkins & Wason. We have our site engineers who created the beautiful site that is, uh, uses water efficient landscaping. Um, Kevin Sheeran from DMS and Associates. Um, it does take some attorneys to get these uh, buildings to fruition, so we want to thank Joe Stevens um, from the firms of Stevens, Palmer, and Paltrack, and also Randy Bendler from Randy Bendler and Associates. And most of all, for designing the beautiful store, we have our architects from Ratcliffe, Bill Mordoff and David Witt. Thank you so much for being here, guys. 
And um, I actually don't work for Royal Farms, my company does, um, but we've had the pleasure of being their sustainability consultants for the past seven years and helping them bring to their sustainability goals and ideas to fruition. So I want to thank Royal Farms for being a leader in that area and congratulate them on recently becoming one of the top 10 retailers in the country in building LEED certified stores. So congratulations. They were also just commended by the Adopt a Highway program for being one of the top Adopt a Highway sponsors in the country and cleaning one of the uh, some of the most miles. And I think you can drive to California and back five times, according to this. So congratulations, Royal Farms. And we also want to thank Laura, who I think many of you have talked with from Groundbreaking PR, who puts us all together for Royal Farms. There's a lot of vendors here with us today who help supply you guys with the tasty snacks that you want to get at Royal Farms, aside from the chicken. Um, we want to thank our vendors from Uts, Tasty Cake, Krispy Kreme, Coke, and Pepsi. Thank you so much for being here. There are also um, other business leaders that have given us their, their support through this process. From Queen Anne's, Barry and Maureen Waterman. From the Chamber of Commerce, Linda Friday. And from United Way, Sandra Early and Diane Waterman. So thank you so much. Our favorite thing to do, or my favorite thing to do with these grand openings, is to watch Will Farms give away money to some local charities. Uh, so with that, if I can get John to come back up, please. And I believe first we have the Foundation for Community Partners. The Foundation is so grateful for this opportunity. The funds are actually going to our fund, Early Wars of Queen Anne's County. This is Mary Margaret goodwin Rebell. First of all, I want to say what an auspicious day this is to receive this a gift because this is Memorial Day weekend and the whole effort of our effort here in Queen Anne's County for the War of 1812 commemoration has been to really honor those 1164 men who stood against the British and thank heavens for that because we'd be in a different position today had they not done so. Um, the other thing I want to say is what a wonderful opportunity this is for us to um, have this gift from uh, Royal Farms because Royal Farms is such a community center in a rural county and this is the part that I really love most about um, the gift from Royal Farms and I thank you all very much for that. Thank you. Good morning, I am from the Hillsborough Queen Anne United Methodist Church Pastor Regina Crosley, and our mission is to uh, show Christ through everything that we do. And many times we have to do acts of kindness to others for compassion and love in the means of supporting them for food and for a campership to Camp Pacomath for our 15 children, for um, transportation and sometimes for utility bills. So the church is there to support the community. And I would just like to say that Royal Farms is, is definitely a blessing to this community and to our church. Uh, as you know, Methodists love to eat and we love the chicken when we have a dinner. So uh, we'll, we'll be supporting Royal Farms for sure. So I would just like to thank you on behalf of the church um, for the donation that you have made to us. And, and we hope that we will make a difference with that money as well. Thank you. The charity that we're recognizing today is um, the Queen Anne Hillsborough Fire Company. If somebody, Everybody. thank you, sir. Everybody. Good morning again. Good morning. Everybody. I'm kind of short on words, but, but you know, we really appreciate the donation that you're going to give to the fire company. And we can surely use it because we're remodeling our firehouse now and we've ordered a new rescue truck. So it would be greatly appreciated to help pay for it. Thank you. Thanks for having us. My name is Vicki Paulus. I'm the assistant director, and this is Judy Wink, our executive director. And I can't say how happy I am to see a very, very green, sustainable building here in Queen Anne's County, right down to the recycling. I heard of the fryer grease and the biodiesel, so that is that is pretty amazing. At the center, Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center, we're in Graysonville. We have over 30,000 visitors, and 15,000 of those are school children coming for environmental field trips. And recently, in uh, back in the spring we just had a fire in our main teaching pavilion so those do donation couldn't come at a better time and it's going to go towards rebuilding a new green sustainable teaching pavilion we'd like to thank you My name
name is Jean Yeager. I'm the Executive Director of the Midshore Council on Family Violence, and I have with me Audra Johnson and uh, Trina Ringgold. They run our legal department. Midshore Council works with victims of domestic violence from Kent, Queen Anne's, Caroline, Dorchester, and Talbot counties, and we really value our partnership with everybody here in uh, Queen Anne's County. Our funds that you're donating today are gonna help us provide those uh, bed nights in our crisis shelter and for food that it costs to uh, take care of families who are fleeing a very violent relationship. And I'm happy to say we've restructured and we're able to help um, clients from the crisis stage all the way to self-sufficiency. So we're very proud of that and, and we thank you for the support. We couldn't do it without the community. Hi, my name is Frankie Sears, and I'm our local representative here on the Midshore. This is Travis McCormick and Kevin Lescalette. The mission of the Boy Scouts of America is to prepare young people to make moral and ethical decisions for the rest of their lives. A huge part of that are the outdoor camping opportunities, and our campership fund allows young people who otherwise wouldn't have those opportunities to be able to do so, and Royal Farms is supporting that here this morning, and we're very grateful. My name is Sandy Wiscott. I'm the Director of Operations for Haven Ministries. and We operate a homeless shelter, the only one in Queen Anne's County. We have a food pantry which supplies food for over 150 families once a month. And uh, we're constantly growing where we can help people in need. And we thank you. We do truly appreciate this. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Dr. Faith Elliott Rossi, Queen Anne's County's Director of Economic Development here at the Royal Farms Grand Opening this morning and just delighted to be here and to see the facility that's been created. We appreciate the jobs that were created during the construction process and the full-time and part-time jobs that were created now that the facility is open. We know that it will be an asset to this community and to the county with all that they bring. This morning, if you watch the other videos that are available, you'll note that they donated uh, monies to seven different charities that include churches, the fire department, other entities that really benefit the citizens of Queen Anne's County. And we just want to say thank you to Royal Farms for coming to Queen Anne's County. Good morning. Hi. 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 Hi.